Hi, today we're going to take a look at perpendiculars and distances, uh, more specifically the distance between a point and a line. Uh, we want to find the shortest distance between them. And uh, in order to achieve that, we need to create a perpendicular line through this process. And then in the end, solve a system of equations, figure out where these lines meet, and then use a distance formula to figure out how far away from each other they are. So let's fill in one, two, three, four over here with some steps to solve this whole thing. So I want to find an equation of this line L here. So find equation for L. After we find that, we want to use the information that's given to us and find a new equation that's perpendicular using P. So find new equation uh, perpendicular to L through P. After we find that, we need to set up a system of equations and solve for where they meet. So we're going to say a system of equations. And then lastly, we're going to use a distance formula to figure this stuff out. Okay, we have our checklist of things we have to do. Let's start. So equation L, um, I want to take these, let's put them on here, and then we'll start plugging everything in. So back to up to over 4 down 1. We have our equation, point P, go over 1 down 2. So that's L. Point P is right there, and we want to figure out roughly what that dashed line is. So, uh, in order to start off, let's figure out and use our slope. We're going to say m equals negative 1 minus 2 uh, over 4 minus negative 2. Those two minuses on the bottom turn to a plus, giving us negative 3 over 6, which is the same as saying negative 1 half. Good. Let's use that. And this, we can then create an equation. So, we're going to take that and plug them into y equals mx plus b. We're going to figure out what b is, and there you go. So we have 2 equals negative 1 half times a negative 2 plus b. Multiply these together, you're going to get a 1. Minus 1 minus 1, b equals 1. My equation for our solid line here is going to be y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. Important. Okay, step 1. Done. Step two, find a new equation perpendicular to this, and it goes through that point. So perpendicular. What we know about slopes is there's going to be two main changes. Opposite, positive, negative, and reciprocal. So you're taking that fraction and you're flipping it. So I have a slope of negative one half. My new slope is going to be a positive two over one or just two. We need that. We have a point of 1 comma negative 2. Let's take this and do the same thing we just did here. So we have y equals mx plus b. We're going to say negative 2 equals 2, 1, b. That's a 2. Let's subtract 2, subtract 2. b equals negative 4. We got that. Let's create an equation. y equals 2x minus 4. All right. Step two, done. Part three, now we need to create a system of equations. I want to take both of these, set them equal to each other. So we're going to say negative one half x plus one equals two x minus four. Okay, let's uh, add one half x plus one half x. Those are gone. We're left with two and a half x. Let's add 4, add 4, giving us 5. And I know we have fractions. I know a lot of people don't like fractions, but this is 2 and a half, 2.5. If I did that, no, it's not the prettiest, but it just so happens that it kind of works out in this case. 2 and a half goes into 5 two whole times. Our answer is nice and neat. Uh, we found half of our system. We know that the x half is 2. I want to take this now and plug it back in up here. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it on this side, put it right there for this x. Why? Just because this is 
doesn't have a fraction in it. So I'm going to take them and do the work right here. Uh, we have 2 times 2 plus minus 4. Y equals, so Y equals 4 minus 4, which is 0. My final equation, or my final uh, coordinate there, where they meet. This right here is officially now 2 comma 0. Kind of look like it. It is that. Okay, what is so important by for us finding that coordinate? Because I know this, and I know this. I can take these two coordinates now and plug them into the distance formula. Okay, well, this is the last step. So we're going to say our distance formula right up here. Uh, D equals the square root x2 minus x1. So we're going to take our x's, subtract them. We'll say 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1, square it. Plus my y's. I did 2. I'm going to do 0 minus minus 2. 0 minus a negative 2, square it. Turns to a plus. We're left with 1 squared. On the other side, 2 squared, giving us 1 plus 4, which is 5. And 5, if we broke that down, gives us uh, 2.24, about. That is your last step. Our goal was to find the distance between this line and that point. It's a distance of 2.24. That's using perpendiculars and distances.